Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the ninth part in this series where we're building a personal dashboard app using Angular. In this video, we're going to be focused on dynamically generating the note cards based on the data that's in the note service. All right then, so let's get started. Let's go here and uh, let's go to the note card element. And um, actually, before we do this, let's actually go to the notes.component.ts uh, and inside here, let's actually um, get the notes array. So here we can do um, notes, which is a note array. Okay, and it has to be imported up here. And then let's go and inject the service. So private note service, which is of type note service, and that has to be imported up here. Okay, and now uh, we can go to ng on init and and inside here we can do this dot notes is equal to this dot notes service dot get notes. Okay, and let's save that now and let's go to the template for the notes component. Okay, and let's go here to the note card div and let's do ng4 let note of notes. Okay, so this is going to loop through the notes array and we now have access to the note object. So here we can actually pass in the title. So here let's use string interpolation to do note.title and here we can do string interpolation to get the content, note.content. Okay, let's save that now and let's go back to the application and uh, let's go to the notes view and we can't see any cards. And the reason for that is because we don't have any, um, any note objects inside of our notes array, right? Okay, so here, for now, we can actually just put some test data just to see if it's working. Um, so let's do new note and let's pass in a title. So let's say test title and let's pass in some content, uh, test content. Okay, um, let's save this and let's go back to the application. And there we go. So now we can see this card here that has test title and test content. Awesome. So let's go and create another one. Cool. So, so let's go back here and let's create another one. Uh, new note. Hey, testing one, two, three. Okay. Save that. Let's go back to the application. And there we go. So now we can see two cards here. Okay. Cool. Uh, so now seems like a good time um, for us to actually create a separate component for these note cards, right? So let's go and do that. Let's go back to the um, notes.component.html and let's move this and its styles um, to a separate component. So, okay, so let's go to the terminal and let's do ng generate component um, and let's call this note card. Okay, so now we have this new folder here, which has the files for the note card component. So let's go to um, the note card uh, template and we see this, cool. All right, so, so now let's go um, here and let's actually just try and put a note card. So app-note-card is um, the tag for the note card component. And that's because um, if you look here, the selector is app note card, okay? Cool. All right, so let's go back here. Let's save this and let's see what happens. Let's go here. And here we can actually see note card works is showing up there. Okay, cool. So um, that's working. All right, cool. So now let's actually um, put this mark up here inside the note card component. So let's go and cut this and let's go to the note card component template. Let's get rid of this and let's paste that in there. Okay. And we don't actually have access to the notes array inside this component because it's just for a single note. So let's get rid of this. Okay. And um, the uh, note.title and note.content can stay because we'll actually be going to the component class and setting up an input property for the note object. Okay. So then we will have access to the, uh, to the note uh, object here. Okay. So... So let's go and do that. Let's go here and let's set up an input property. So at input like that. And then let's call this note and it'll be of type note. Okay, so now um, we have to save this 
and go here and save this and let's now go uh, to the notes view template and let's go here and let's pass in the note object like this right so here we're using square brackets um, surrounding the name of the input property which is note because we have called it note here and um, here we have to actually set this to a note object okay so let's actually use ng4 on this element so ng4 and let's do let note of notes and now we have access to the individual note object um, so here we can go to there and type in note and hopefully this will work so let's save this and let's go back to the application and here we do actually see test title test content hey and testing one two three cool so all of our content is being um properly loaded there however the styles aren't and the reason for that is because we actually have the styles uh, still inside the notes of view style sheet um, and we should move this to the notes um, to the note card component so let's go here and let's grab all of the styles that are related to the note card let's grab all of that and cut this okay and now let's save that close this and let's go to the note card component style sheet and let's paste that in there okay let's save that and let's now go back to the application and there we go cool cool all right so that seems to be working all right so now we can actually uh add some spacing in between these cards so let's go here and uh let's close the note card files and um and let's go to the notes.component.html and um, we want to actually add some margin um, margin bottom to this element here, right? So let's go to the style sheet and let's go here and let's target the app-notes-card. Okay, and here let's add margin bottom 15 pixels. Okay, let's save that and let's go back to the application. Okay, and here we don't see any difference, right? And that's because we should actually make this display block because by default, Angular component elements are inline. So if we go here and we look at the app-note-card, we see here that um, we have the margin bottom there, but it's not working because if we go to computed and type in display, we see that it's a inline element, right? So um, let's close this and let's go back to our code here let's do display block save that go back to the application and now it's working cool all right then so um that's working pretty well and these are now being loaded completely dynamically from the service and these cards are now their own component cool all right so um the next thing we can do is we can actually probably now go and work on um the add note to view and setting up this form so that the user is able to create notes. Okay, so um, let's go and do that next.